creams, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rice, raw, raw, beans, creams, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkeys, rabbit, you name it. Beans, creams, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, ram. To another episode of Cooking Melissa, and today we are going to be making a strawberry shortcake banana pudding. So, for this recipe, you're gonna need some strawberries, at least one banana, and then some for garnish, eggs, cream cheese, one can of sweetened condensed milk, milk. I'm using um, the pudding that's already made because I don't got time. Um, one box of yellow cake mix. Chessman's cookies or um, you can use vanilla wafers too. And then you're going to need um, at least one 16 ounce container of whipped topping and some oil. And then the last thing you're going to need is just a few hot dogs. <laughs> but <laughs> let's move on to the next step the first step i have my cake mix in the bowl and i'm going to add the cake calls for um, three eggs but i'm going to put two because i am going to add in some banana so add in two eggs to whatever cake mix you buy one and a half mashed banana and then you can follow the liquid, the water or whatever. I'm using milk for mine, but you can use water too. Follow whatever the directions for the liquid is. So mine says one cup of milk or water. And then the last thing I'm gonna add is a third cup of oil. So, I'm just gonna mix this up. And then I have a, um, a deep dish nine by 13 pan. If you wanna put more pudding, I suggest you get a deep dish pan because obviously the cake is gonna rise some, but you can use whatever pan you wanna use. All right, so yeah, I grease the bottom of the pan and we're just gonna pour this and then bake your cake according to your instructions. And we're gonna come back for the next step. Uh, while our cake is in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and get our pudding started. So in my bowl, I have a full brick of softened cream cheese and to that, I'm gonna add a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. And what I'm gonna do is just mash this up as much as I can. So yeah, mash this into your um, sweetened condensed milk. I'm gonna come back and show y'all the next step. Right, y'all, so my sweetened condensed milk and cream cheese is smooth now. And I'm gonna go ahead and take four vanilla pudding cups and add it in there as well. You can also use like cheesecake flavor or strawberry pudding flavor, whatever flavor pudding you want. I really don't care. But yeah, I ain't got time to be making pudding from scratch when they got it at the dollar store. I mean, at the store already. So, anyway, next up, I got about a half a cup of chopped strawberries. I'm going to add that in there. And this is optional, but I got some strawberry glaze. And just for some color, I'm going to add like two tablespoons. You don't have to do this. All right, but yeah, so mix this up. And 
All right, so that's mixed up. And now we're gonna take our um, 16 ounce container of whipped cream and add that on in there too. Now, with this, you don't wanna stir it too hard. And I want mine actually to be kind of um, like swirl-like. So just fold it in there delicately. This is our pudding. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the refrigerator and let it sit until our cake is ready. Y'all, so my cake is done, it's cooled, and um, it took about 20 minutes to bake. So at this point, we're just gonna go ahead and layer our uh, pudding. If you want, you can add some um, bananas and stuff. I don't want that many, so I'm not putting none. But right now, you can layer this with bananas and strawberries. So just put your pudding on top of the cake if you don't want that. Spread it evenly. So at this point, it's really just decorating. So I am just gonna do like rows of three. Uh -oh. Just push it in there a little bit. And you really could just do this however you want. All right, so anyway, I'm gonna finish this and I'm gonna come back. So I put my little cookies down and the next thing I'm gonna do, I decided I wanna do some little uh, strawberry flower things. So I'm just gonna put three slices of strawberry like this and then a little banana. And I'm gonna just put this randomly And yeah, so I'm gonna just decorate it like that if y'all wanted a little idea. And I'm gonna come back and show y'all the end result. So this is the end result of me decorating the pudding. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it in the refrigerator for a couple hours and then come back and cut it open for y'all. So this is the end result of our strawberry shortcake banana pudding. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a taste for y'all. And I already tasted it, it's hella good. But... <sighs> like, this shit like hella good though, for real. But anyway, if y'all enjoyed this recipe, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next episode of Cooking with Lissa.